Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering biomes. And there's a couple of ways to do biomes in Minecraft, but we're going to go the easy route and create biomes using a JSON file. And not only does this allow us quite a lot of customization, but we can also pretty easily integrate it into our dimension. In this tutorial, I'll just be showing you how to create a biome and how you can make it spawn in the overworld. And the easiest way to create a JSON file is to use the data generator on misode.github.io a link for which you can find in the description. And we're going to go to WorldGen and then to Biome, where we can create our biome. And you can see over here, there's quite a lot of stuff you can do, or you can use a preset. And these depth and scale will probably re be removed in 1.18, since the height will no longer be controlled by the biome. And I'm just going to use a preset and then explain what the JSON file actually means. So the preset I'm going to go for is going to be the planes biome. And this is just the default Minecraft planes biome. And you can see all of this over here, and I'll explain it all now, but it just directly transfers into the JSON file, which you can find over here. So we're going to start with the surface builder, which is responsible for creating the surface of our biome, which is going to use the default Minecraft grass one, but I'll be showing you how to create a custom one in a video soon. We also have the depth and scale, which raises or lowers the terrain and vertically stretches the terrain. Then we have the temperature and how much it rains. So the chance for it to rain is 0.4 and the temperature is 0.8. And this is going to be larger in a desert or lower in a tundra. And our participation, you can change between rain, snow or none. Temperature modifier, we can change it to unset to be none or to be frozen, but that's just to add snow into the game. And the category, we're just going to put this as planes. If you have multiple similar biomes, you can put them in the same category. Then we have the effects of so the sky color, the fog color, the water color. These are all decimal color files over here. Then we have the different structures that can spawn then the different monsters that can spawn and the weights with which they spawn. And you can add a custom thing here by replacing Minecraft with like your mod ID. So for example, mod ID colon example entity would be the example entity that we spawned. Then we have the creatures that can spawn. So this is the passive mobs, the ambient mobs, so the bats in this case, the water creatures, which in this case are the glow squid and axolotl. This is for 1.17, so we can always change this down to 1.16 and then reselect the planes by preset. Then for the carvers, we can select the cave and canyon carvers, and these are air carvers. You can also add liquid carvers to make custom water pools. Then we can add the features, and these steps are the different generation stages. And the order in which they go in is step zero, raw generation, step one, late, step two, local modifications, step three, underground structures, step four, surface structures, step five, strongholds, Step six, underground ores. Step seven, underground decoration. Step eight, vegetal decoration. And finally, step nine, which is the top layer modification. And that's it for our biome. I'm just going to take this JSON generated over here and copy it. You can always edit this JSON directly. And I'm going to move it into Eclipse. So back in Eclipse, in our source main resources, we can go to data.modid and then create a new package called .worldgen dot biome and then I'm going to create a new JSON file called example underscore biome dot JSON and in here we're going to paste the JSON we've already made. And there we go, that's actually it. Now we just need to register the biome in the game. So in core.init let's create a new class called biome init. And all we need to do in this class is to create registry keys for all of our biomes. So let's create a public static registry key of biome. And we're going to call this register biome. And this is going to take the string biome name. And let's press Control Shift O to import biome. And inside this method, we're going to return a registry key for our biome. So let's return registry key dot get or create key. And this will be dot create on mod maps. And here we're going to put registry dot biome key. And in mod maps, this will be biome registry. And then we're going to pass in a new resource location. And inside this resource location, we're going to pass in our mod ID, so tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then the biome name. Now let's actually use this register biome function. So let's create a public static registry key of biome, and we're going to call this example biome, and we're going to set it equal to register biome 
of example biome. And now we've created a registry key for our example biome. If we wanted to create another one, we can just copy this line, change this to something like example biome two, and make this example biome two. And we want to make sure this name is exactly the same as what we've named our JSON file. However, we won't be able to load this biome up without actually adding it to a dimension or to the existing overworld. So let's do that. Let's create a public static void called register biomes. And in here, we're going to add the biomes to the overworld. So all I'm going to do is biome manager dot add biome. Then we pass in the biome type. So biome manager dot biome type. And then we pass in the type. This is going to be a cool biome, which is the planes biome. So I'm going to set this to cool. And then we pass in a biome entry. And to do that, we can create a new biome manager dot biome entry. And all we need to pass in here is our registry key. So example biome and the weight. And I'm just going to give this a weight of 10. So it generates quite commonly and it will be easy to find in the world. Now all we need to do is just call this register biomes function and we can do that over in our main class. So all we need to do under here is biome init dot register biomes. And we're also going to create a deferred register for our biome just to make sure that it generates in the world properly. So let's create a public static final deferred register of biome. And I'm going to call this biomes and I'm going to set it equal to deferred register dot create forge registry dot biomes and tutorial mod dot mod id and under here we're going to create a public static registry object of biome and we're going to call this create biome where we're going to pass in a string biome name and a supplier of biome called biome and in here all we're going to put is return biomes dot register the name and the biome supplier and then just above our example biome we're going to open a static scope where we're going to create biome of the biome name, so in this case, example biome, and we're going to put in biome maker, colon colon, make void biome. Then let's press control shift O to import. And in mod maps, this will be the void biome instead of make void biome. So just make sure you change that. Then in our main class above here, let's do biome init dot biomes dot register. And we're going to put in the bus. And then finally, let's give our biome a name in the lang file. So let's add biome.tutorialmod.examplebiome and set the value to example biome. And there we go. Now we can run the game. And when we create a new world, you'll be able to see our example biome in the single biome type world type. But this is actually broken in Minecraft, so we're not going to be using that. Instead, we're just going to create our new empty world. And when you'll do that, you'll notice this screen. There's a mod that stops the screen called Shut Up Experimental Settings, which you can install as a dependency. But for now, we can just click Proceed. And when the game is opened, we can run slash locate biome with our biome. And you can see it's found our example biome 998 blocks away. So let's teleport to that biome. And there we go. Although it may look a little bit like a planes biome, that's just because we copied the preset. You can see in F3 mode that we have biome tutorial mod example biome and you can see that structures actually work here since a village has generated and you can see that passive mobs spawn here and if we set the time to night you'll begin to see some hostile mobs spawn such as this skeleton if you need any help with biomes or just want to hang out we have an amazing discord which you can join and there's a link in the description next time we'll be covering some more world gens such as surface builders dimensions and then we'll move on to structures, foliage, features, carvers, and maybe even more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.